Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Desi and I'm with you today because I'm doing a video that I never thought I would do, but I'm kind of at wit's end with this particular channel and that is Loser Maxing, who is now at 3.3 .3 and is kind of plateaued there for a variety of reasons. And I'm sure this is a very niche crowd that I'm getting to. But I did a response video because I've been getting into the topics of incels and that community, which to me is fascinating. And uh, I've really gone down the rabbit hole and uh, Loser Maxing was one of the individuals who I did a video on, I think about a month and a half ago, on how he's 35, lives with his dad, doesn't have a job, never been in a relationship, etc, etc. And he did a really good job telling that story. And I bought into it. And I think that there is legitimacy to that part of his arc. But it's gotten to the point, especially with this uh, latest video where he talks about going to the dentist, where it's just, it's too much. E essentially in this one, he goes to the dentist and the hygienist comes in. And of course, it's an attractive young woman, which of course it has to be because it fits the narrative, right? I mean, to be fair, um, I go to the hygienist couple times a year where I go to the dentist, but most of the time I'm interacting with the hygienist. And I'd say the median age is probably around 30. I've been with a hygienist who has done like 20 years plus, and I've been with some that are in their mid younger 20s just out of school. Either way, he said that this hygienist right off the bat was super like he hadn't gone to the dentist in like 10 years, which I can relate to. I didn't go to the dentist for a long time because our insurance system sucks in this country, and I've been waiting for cheap Medicare slash affordable health care for a long time. But, you know, I'm in this age bracket where I need to start going to the dentist. But anyways, I had been and had been like, you know, eight or nine years since I've been to the dentist and which is embarrassing and stupid, mind you, don't do that. Don't be like me. And the hygienist, instead of being, you know, like condescending, like, oh, we haven't been in here. Like we just had, I just had a normal conversation with her. But according to Loser Maxing, the first thing this hygienist did is start grilling him. Oh, you haven't been the dentist in a decade. You must have depression. You know, there's resources available, like right off the bat, no pretense, just straight into this. And to me, I'm just like, well, that's absolute BS. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't fit any sort of narrative I've ever seen. And he blames it on his looks. And it's crazy how many people in the comments, at least the ones that aren't calling him a fed, <laughs> <laughs> and I have to admit, I'm joining in the fun on this because it's absolutely hilarious because I honestly believe this guy's fake. What you have to realize is at least the dentists I go to, they are very busy. They are packed solid. And unless he's in rural BF nowhere, um, he's going to have issues. Or I should say the hygienist is going to have issues getting him in a slot. And she's not going to spend a whole lot of time, especially like, talking about his depression and just and it doesn't make any sense either because she's cleaning his teeth and trying to have this conversation with him at the same time about depression or and he, yet he's able to like be mouthy back to her if you watch the video and see it but this is just the nail in the coffin for me it doesn't make any sense and on top of it he had the gym girl arc which she basically went to a boxing gym which when I did the video he had just started it and basically, he gets kicked out of the gym because he gets punched. And again, the story makes no sense. None of his stories make any narrative sense. And yet he blames it. I say, oh, this is just my life. Like, he is unique to every social norm that doesn't apply to him. Because apparently, he's so horrendously ugly. But we've never seen a picture of him. We have never seen anything to indicate that he's telling the truth. And that's why he's getting the fed cell or federal agent pretending to be an incel accusations, which I don't think that's true. I think that this is a 35 year old man that lives with his dad and who identifies as an incel. But I think what happened, and I've seen a lot of other people collaborate this and, and come to this conclusion, this conclusion that I have is that he reached a point of popularity. He basically got popular overnight because of his videos and he's good at editing and everything else like that. And that fits with his degree. But then it got to the point is like, what do I do now? I have all these people following me and wanting more from me. 
and I think he's just started making up stories. The gym girl thing was absolutely ridiculous. And basically, uh, he met this girl at this gym that he got kicked out of, and she was interested. But then she sees his face after this like correspondence and decides she doesn't want to date him, which doesn't make any sense because she already knew what he looked like. But yet he's, like I said, if you follow his videos, there's no narrative structure to them. He just, I feel like he's just making stuff up as he goes and, do, and doing a little bit of editing. And he's just pumping these videos like every day. And now he's acting like he's bothered by all these accusations, but yet he's still making these stories that don't make any narrative sense. So I don't think this guy is fully a fake. I think he reached a point and then he became fake. That's just my theory. But I got to call it out. I don't have anything against this guy, but I think he's deceiving a lot of men who identify as incels who are emotionally vulnerable and taking advantage of their naiv naivete and pretending to be one of them. Essentially doing the fed cell thing in a way. And I think it's funny, and I'm going to keep posting Agent Smith memes because I think it's hilarious. <laughs> hey, greetings, my fellow incels. You know, that sort of attitude, like pretending to be one of them. Um, another thing, too, is he's an editor and he does all this editing. He says he has an awkward voice, but yet he keeps the sighing in. He's, this guy's always sighing. Like, it is ridiculous. And they're all the same kind of audio bit. It's like he's literally inserting sighs in to make his story more believable or something. But yeah, it doesn't make any sense. And like his dad doing the typical boomer thing of making him go out to knock on doors to get jobs. And he's trying to explain that doesn't make any sense and him getting kicked out and yet having the same audio set up despite his dad kicking him out and making him sleep on a couch. That doesn't make any sense. And, and one thing too is... Um, this guy occasionally smokes Mary Jane, but he has no job. Where does he get the money to blow his money on Mary Jane? This guy hasn't had a job, but yet he's able to smoke like two grams of Mary Jane in a sitting. Where does he get that money from? Does he just steal it from his dad? So, yeah. Um, I'm wondering if this is going to be a new trend of men pretending they're incels just to get views. Because... Since I've delved into this topic, and I'm not tr pretending to be an incel, I'm not an incel. I'm asensual, and I don't care about any of this crap. Um, it doesn't relate to me personally. This interests me as a topic, and I cover it, and I get views because of it, and it's entertaining, and I love the interactions that I have for the most part. So that's why I do this. I'm not pretending to be an incel. But I feel like this is a trend by some of these new YouTubers to get views because it is very niche and the algorithm loves it. The algorithm absolutely loves these videos. So there's something to them. And I'm gonna keep making videos on it and calling this sort of thing out because I think that's gonna be a thing because you know, people go where the money is, people go where the views are. And I think you're gonna see a lot of up and coming YouTubers being like, hey, I can get a viewership from this by basically preying on lonely men's tears. So anyway. I'm not going to even bother editing this video. I just wanted to talk about this for a little bit. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.